Sunday the 13th of August, 2023. First reading. Reading from the first book of Kings. When Elijah reached Horeb, the mountain of God, he went into the cave and spent the night in it. Then he was told, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Then the Lord himself went by. There came a mighty wind, so strong it tore the mountains and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire there came the sound of a gentle breeze. And when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Responsorial Psalm Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Second reading. Reading from the book of Romans. What I want to say now is no pretense. I say it in union with Christ, it is the truth. My conscience in union with the Holy Spirit assures me of it too. What I want to say is this. My sorrow is so great, my mental anguish so endless, I would willingly be condemned and be cut off from Christ if it could help my brothers of Israel, my own flesh and blood. They were adopted as sons, they were given the glory and the covenants. The law and the ritual were drawn up for them, and the promises were made to them. They are descended from the patriarchs and from their flesh and blood came Christ who is above all, God forever blessed. Amen. Gospel Cremation Alleluia, Alleluia Blessings on the King who comes, in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven, and glory in the highest heavens. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Matthew Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away. After sending the crowds away he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came he was there alone while the boat, by now far out on the lake, was battling with a heavy sea for there was a head wind. In the fourth watch of the night he went towards them, walking on the lake, and when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But at once Jesus called out to them, saying, Courage, it is I, do not be afraid. It was Peter who answered, Lord, he said, If it is you, tell me to come to you across the water. Come, said Jesus. Then Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus across the water, but as soon as he felt the force of the wind, he took fright and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus put out his hand at once and held him. Man of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And as they got into the boat, the wind dropped. The men in the boat bowed down before him and said, truly, you are the son of God. Gospel of the Lord.